tastes so great. I'm starving. Eric, what a mess. You better clean that up. Yeah, you're right, but what do you suppose I should use? I don't know, there's a bunch of paper towel over there on the counter. Um, you know there are five different kinds of paper towel over there, right? Only five? Your mom was finally be cutting back on all those sale items. So which one do I use? I don't know, is there a difference? I'm pretty sure there is, so which one? I don't know, Eric, just figure it out. Man, how am I ever going to figure this out? Well, I guess I could ask some people. So, which one do you guys think is best for cleaning up a spill? Well, I think mine because it has an awesome design. Well, I think mine because it's soft. I think mine because it's the most expensive and the softest. But which one do I use? Mine. Mine. I don't know. You figure it out. Well, that's not going to work. I suppose I could call some people and ask. Hello, Miss Smith? Hi, my name's Eric, and I'm doing a survey on paper towel. Hello? Hello? Ah, oh, that's weird. That's the fourth phone call in a row that's been disconnected. Oh, four down, about 4,000 to go. Well, that's not gonna work. Let's see, what else can I do? Well, I suppose I can have my family members test this out. Yikes! Well, that's not gonna work. Eric, why didn't you clean up this mess yet? I haven't figured out which paper towel I'm going to use, but I think I got it. I'm using the scientific method to figure this one out. Scientific method? It's something we learned about in Mr. Breeze class. Would you like to help me out, Scott? Sure, as long as we get that mess cleaned up before your mom gets out of the shower. By the way, did you hear her screaming your name a few minutes ago? Okay, now that we have our problem and we, got it, we have to determine which brand of paper towel will hold the most liquid. Now we have to get to work on our hypothesis. Hypothesis? What's that? It's a set of predictions and assumptions based on known facts. Hmm. I researched online that paper towel is actually made of ground wood materials and plant materials that are ground up into a fine pulp. They are then laid out, dried, and then cut. The reason that paper towel can actually absorb water is because it has cellulose. Cellulose allows the paper towel to hold large quantities of water molecules. My hypothesis is that the more expensive brands of paper towel use a better manufacturing process. So they will hold the most liquid and they are softer. Hmm. So now we need to put it to the test. First, we'll need average household items. We will need plastic cups to see through, rubber bands, dye, food coloring, green, of course, and then we'll need measuring spoons a Sharpie fine tip, measuring devices, and of course the paper towel. Alright, great! Well, let's get started! Not yet! Safety first. <sighs> okay, to set up the project, we have leveled each cup. Then for that, for each cup, we have set each cup on a grid to ensure that we do not mix them up. We have placed one piece of paper towel on each cup, and then we have secured that paper towel with a rubber band. Next, we will need one cup of colored water, and then we will measure out the colored water onto each with one teaspoon. We will take off the paper towel, and then we will measure the liquid got, that got through, and then we will record our results. Repeating the project multiple times will help us verify our results. After completing the test, I entered all the data into these charts. These charts so show how much money per sheet of paper towel and the results. 
Bonnie consistently holds the most liquid, which disproved my hypothesis because I thought Viva would hold the most because it's softest and most expensive. So what did this teach you? Well, I guess this teaches me that looks and costs can be deceiving. I suppose that's true, but I was thinking it would at least show you how to clean up this mess. Now hurry up and get to it!